Hello everybody, Slavon Ryudek here. Today I'd like to show you the second part of uh, my racing telemetry tutorial videos. For those of you who haven't seen the first video, first part, uh, yet I recommend you to, to watch uh, uh, this. The link is in the description. And uh, for those of you who have already seen the first part, uh, I'd like to, um, to say again what we uh, finished with. So in the first in the first video we finished with our uh, new project and with uh, this screen um, and we have one workbook and one worksheet. Okay, and this video uh, addresses uh, how to create a map for a particular uh, track which is very useful later uh, when you start analyzing uh, telemetry. Mm. I decided to mm, to choose uh, the game called GTR2 which is which is in the uh, the newest game, but uh, has something really really special I I like in the sim racing games. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's run the game. Okay, the game is loading. Let's speed it up a little bit. The game is in Polish, but I hope it's not a problem. Uh, we we don't want to race today. Uh, we selected training uh, and we chose Mansa Grand Prix. Okay, so if we want to create a map for Motex software, we need a log file. Uh, more, we need a lap time. Uh, so we have to do uh, uh, one hot lap. But uh, the time isn't uh, important at all. So uh, uh, make sure that uh, that you drive with the normal racing line uh, because this is very very important here. Okay, uh, let's exit the pits now and quickly to the hot lap. I don't want to run too fast. It's only it's only only the game, but believe me, if you were in a, in a real car, you, know, you would race that fast for the first time, I think. As I said, uh, we have to do whole lap, so out lap or in lap isn't uh, very important. Mm, okay. Let's move on. Let's move two. Uh, for those of you who um, aren't familiar with, uh, let's call it sim racing software, and uh, I should say sim racing industry, uh, I'm using uh, G Logitech G27 uh, steering wheel, which is very very good steering wheel in my opinion. Um, and if you if you want to start uh, racing virtual world uh, I think this is very good uh, good steering wheel to start with uh, it isn't uh, cheap but there are uh, more expensive steering wheels on the market so I think 
if you want to do something seriously, you need a, a good steering wheel, a good shifter, and free pedals. Uh, because without the clutch, there's no fun, frankly. Okay, we start our lap time. And as I said, uh, don't you don't have to run very quickly. Racing line is important here, so don't spin, don't go off the track. Easy here for the curbs. Those of you who aren't familiar with the last kilometer at all, uh, well, for me, it's like whole life. I mean, I I'm not a professional engineer or something, but I learn everything on my own, or it's still a lot to learn. But I know the last kilometer gives me. Gives me Something special I really really like. I like to analyze all, all, all these files and to see the little details and then help the driver to, 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 to do a better lap, faster lap. Okay, so we let's cross the start finish line. Okay, we finished the, the lap as I said. Uh, time isn't important at all, and now we go to Motec. By the way, in this game, uh, the game works perfectly with Motec. Uh, and here we have the button, mm, but I notice when I click it, then my game freezes. So I quit the game normally, and uh, let's create the map. Okay, we mm, have our lap time, so let's run the Motec now, and uh, we load our project here. Okay, and now we have to load uh, load the file. We click uh, here, open log file. As you can see, there is only one log file uh, here, and we click open. Mm, as you can see, mm, section times uh, occur because uh, the only worksheet left uh, was uh, section times. So, but it's not important right now. Uh, now, if nothing uh, ap didn't appear on the right uh, side of screen, press V button and uh, something like this should occur. As as you can see we have our track here but uh, that's not all. Usually when you when you want to generate a track mm, software creates uh, too many sections and it's better to to delete some sections uh, and to add uh, another sections. If you want to um, edit the track, click here, track editor, and as you can see, we have our track here with uh, section le levels and everything. And in this case, uh, everything is okay because. When we click uh, here, for instance, start finish uh, straight. As you can uh, see, this is our start uh, finish straight, and everything is okay. Sometimes um, it's like when you 
turn a little bit uh, on the straight software uh, thinks it was a turn so it's like you have a turn in the middle of the straight or something uh, then you have to delete a section or uh, sometimes clicking right uh, uh, clicking on a particular section you, you click split section and then it's split it and uh, you can add new sections and of course uh, what is important here um, start distance and distance I think it's self-explanatory uh, you can change it by clicking uh, these arrows here just make sure that uh, if you have a turn let's say turn number three uh, that uh, in section types uh, you have a uh, corners right if it's a corner if it's a straight for instance start pin is straight it should be uh, straight in, in section types and I think uh, other things uh, are rather easy to understand you can rotate the, uh, the, the truck and you can generate uh, generate track again for instance because it's only sim racing uh, game mm, we can generate the uh, track only with lateral uh, g-force and speed because we, we can't uh, use a GPS system mm. by default it's uh, set here track type as closed circuit so mm, so it shouldn't be a problem but uh, you know it's good to check if everything's okay mm. yeah and actually that's all that's all and uh, remember if nothing uh, appeared after uh, loading the file press V button V button or you can go to view and uh, values window here okay that's all for today again thanks for your attention I hope you enjoyed the video if you like it share subscribe and next time in part 3 we are going to add first graphs about uh, vital functions and parameters of the engine take care and bye